Hi guys, welcome back. This is another Kind Master tutorial, and this is advanced settings for Kind Master. This Kind Master tutorial is for pro level Kind Master users, and if you don't know how to use the basics, then click the link in the description down below, and then after that video, you can come back to this. As you know, Kind Master is very advanced. You can put green screen, but that's just only the basic level. We're taking it to the next level. You can motion track special effects into your hand. How about we just stop talking about it and let's get into it. And also, I'm recording Kind Master on, I on iPhone 7, but that doesn't matter. You can record, you can use Kind Master on Apple, Android, and, and any relatively new devices. As you know, first we create a new project. The first thing, you can put multiple layers of video. You click media and click all. Then if you want any other layers, then you click layer, then click media, then click all, and select any type of video or, yeah. let's say this one, me with my green screen. And now you can remove the green screen easy. This is just to show you, I don't want to make it perfect because I don't want to waste your time. See, like that, and now there's two of me. All right, now we're gonna click layer again, media, and uh, all. So that's multiple layers. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to motion trap an object that you want at a specific point. Okay guys, now we have some basic clip. Don't worry that it's a couch, I just wanna show you the effect. Layer, and then media, then all. Then let's get the green screen clip. Okay, so now we have the effect, but it's on a black screen, so we're just gonna go and go to blending, and then click screen, and there you go. Now, obviously, if I do if I cre key framing, then this is gonna happen. My hand's moving, but the effect stays in the same place. But we want the effect to move with my hand, so. This is actually a relatively easy effect, but it takes a while. So first, what you wanna do is stretch out the timeline, put two fingers on the screen, and stretch out your fingers. That way, when you move through the timeline, the, mov the movement is gonna be very little, and that's what you want. And see on this left side, there's a key, so you wanna click that. Now click the circle plus sign on the right, and then boom, you added the keyframe. Now what you wanna do is whenever your hand moves, then you move the flame a little. And each time you do this, your frames are gonna be added automatically. So just keep following, in this case, your hand, and keep adjusting where the effect is supposed to be. You wanna do tiny little movements on the timeline, just a couple of frames, move it very gradually. I'm just gonna finish this and then I'll show you the final effect. And this is how it looks. Laser power. Just quickly, the comment of the day and shout out goes to Gaming with Ricky. And this person says, great video, Chris. Love them. Well, I'm happy you like this video. And see you guys, that's why I make these videos. There's also a cool voice changer. First thing you want to do is mark the clip. Then you want to do is cut a specific part that you want to change your voice. Cut it around. And then mark that particular clip. And then go down. It should say voice changer, so do that. Okay, okay, for this one, we're gonna use chipmunk, and then for the other one, a different voice. And for this clip, we're gonna make a thicker voice. How to put a face cam border on iMovie and Kind Master. Trust me, it's very easy. And also, you can change the color, you can filter it. So you just mark the clip and go to, down to filters. You can choose warm colors or cold colors. If you're like in the snow and you want some like cold colors, then you can go down to cold and get some blue or something. Like that. Changes the filter. Obviously, this should be recorded proper way first. But you get the idea. You can also do voiceover effect. So when you're playing a game, you can add a voiceover. But first, lower the audio of the clip so you can actually hear your voice. Usually 30-35%, it depends on the game audio. You see guys, you can see me talking, you can see on the right, it sh so shows me talking. So when you click record, you can play the gameplay, but also still talk. So you click start. Hey guys, welcome back, and today guys, I'm going to be playing Asphalt. This game is really cool. 
See, now when you play it, your voice is gonna be there. Hey guys, welcome back, and today guys, I'm going to be playing Asphalt. This game is really cool. You can get different boosts. If you wanna add another layer and then make it come into the screen for a second, then I'm gonna show you a cool way how to do it. There's a bunch of things you could say. You can click fade or stop or pop, yeah. Or slide right. Clockwise, you see it spins, drop, scale down. You see, you can, there's a bunch of effects you can use, even for animation out. And you can actually adjust how fast you want this thing to go. You see, very fast. You see, now it's very slow. Also, you can reduce opacity. So if you want two clips to cover each other for some own, unknown reason, then you can do that. Also, if you want a cool, if you have a cool clip, then you can also play it in reverse. And you see, now when you play it, it's gonna actually go in reverse. You see? Obviously, you could speed it up, and you can also slow it down. So you could go up to eight times, or 0.25, or even lower than that. You see, it says 0.25. That's the lowest you can go. There's a bunch of effects that you can download and they're really cool. Keep in mind, some of them are premium, so that means you have to be subscribed to KineMaster and then you can download them. But a lot of them are free. If it doesn't say premium, even the one without watermark is gonna work. You see, a lot of them are premium, so you'll have to pay the subscription. You see this one melting point? It actually looks like somebody's watching me from inside a car. You see guys, it's like glass or rain spilled on a window and then you saw through it, so that's cool. There's a bunch of clip graphics. The clip graphics is gonna be with the main video, but if you want some other text, then you go to layer and click text. My name, there you go, check. And there you go. And this text, you can obviously make it bigger or smaller. If you don't want this UFO to come to your house, you better subscribe guys. No, I'm just kidding. That's not the reason. The reason you should subscribe is because I post new videos every single week. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!